Small ternary form, also known as rounded binary, consists of three parts, an exposition, A, a contrasting middle, B, and a recapitulation, A prime. Oftentimes, composers repeat A, as well as B and A prime together. The exposition is built as a common theme type, like a sentence or a period, and typically lasts eight measures, though extensions are possible. This theme ends with a PAC in either the home key or the subordinate key, in the case of a modulation. In both cases, the exposition emphasizes tonic harmony and exhibits a sense of stability. The contrasting middle, on the other hand, emphasizes dominant harmony and expresses a sense of instability. It's typically structured in one of two ways. Either as a standing on the dominant or dominant pedal, in which the composer foregrounds dominant harmony above all else, or as a continuation phrase that ends with a half cadence in the home key and often features a harmonic sequence. Note that by definition, a standing on the dominant does not end with a cadence, because there's no harmonic progression. The recapitulation reinstates a sense of stability. It does this in two ways. First, it brings back the basic idea of the exposition, and second, it closes with a PAC in the home key. Note that the recapitulation doesn't have to be an exact repetition of the exposition. It can be shorter, even as short as four measures, or longer, as long as it fulfills the aforementioned criteria. In this theme by Haydn, the exposition is structured as an eight-measure theme that modulates from D to A, and ends with a PAC in the new key. The contrasting middle is structured as a continuation phrase with a circle of fifth sequence, and ends with a half cadence in the home key. And the recapitulation is structured as an eight-measure theme that brings back the opening basic idea and ends with a PAC in the home key.